there. Billy, you're showing your, you're showing your chocolate. Billy, can I see the chocolate? Show me. Yeah. Wow. No. I'm doing a sharing. It's not even for you guys. That's for boys. That's for boys. <laughs> Who told you that that's for boys? Good morning, guys. Hope you all are well and you slept well. We are up. Exciting day for us because we got some food yesterday from Cameroon. I think you guys have seen from smoked fish. Let me show like let me show you guys. There you go. We've got banga massive smoked fish. I'm eternally grateful for the husband's cousin who was flying in and she was kind enough to she was kind enough to shop for us and to bring us all of this food. Do you know what that is? What's that? Chocolate. Chocolate. When it comes to chocolate, you those will know. Are what? Those are no, no, those are not cupcakes. Those are chocolates, right? Those are chocolate. Exactly. Who told you guys to take it? Where's Maggie? Show me Maggie. Where is Maggie? Yeah. Wow. That is Talia knows Maggie. Baba, do you know Maggie? No, Talia knows Maggie. 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 Stop throwing the Maggie down. I forgot to show you guys, but if you love me, send me Cameroon pepper. We are going to this pepper, mm -mm, especially the yellow one. It's been a while. I even saw yellow pepper in this country. As soon as the food got in, we cooked a pot of ekwang yesterday. <laughs> we did a lot of damage to that ekwang. There you go. And then this is our snack cupboard. Like, mm -mm, just from the bottle, you can tell, right? This is. Duala right here in my cupboard and let me show you guys yes you guys see the tatina right yay we are spoiled for days should i open it give me are you going to share with talia yes very good Talia. Me, 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 me. The t shirt, I absolutely love it. On the back is written my channel name. Can you guys see? Yep. So, can I Kia hook me up? Thank you, Mama. Um, if you're in Cameroon and you want to start YouTube and you don't even know how to go about it, or if you've started YouTube but each time you look at your channel, you're like, ha, ah, God, when? When am I when is my channel going to look like this, 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 and this YouTuber that I enjoy watching her content? You should. Hmm. This video may be going on when that event has probably passed. Anyways. Um, reach out to Kenna Kia. There are, I know a couple of YouTubers that offer one on one um, tutoring or coaching when it comes to YouTube, how to start your YouTube channel, the do, what to do, what not to do, and all of that stuff. How to get monetized very, very fast. <laughs> I know there's Kenna Kia, there's Rosie, and there's Judita. These are the ones that I know. I will check the description box too. Go check them out and probably work with them. And if you love my bonnet, I just got it yesterday and Timo sent me skincare from a Cameroonian brand and this bonnet, I'm loving the bonnet, obviously, if I don't love it, I'll not show up on here <laughs> wearing it. The skincare products, I will use them and I will let you guys know, but as of yesterday, I used it, 
feels good, right? You know, not to constantly feel negativity when it comes to Camerunian skincare brands like oh people are mixing concoctions in their kitchens and selling to people and it's damaging people's skin I've actually used the fruit of that I like do you guys want to see it let me know braids are out my phone is ringing tell you please for my phone I'm about to change Caprice diaper however I've run out of um okay it's daddy take one second I've run out of um, the disposable diapers but I have the cloth one have you guys seen this before so this is what it looks like this is you know like the napkins in Cameroon right so this is you place this this is this one has contact with her skin and then this is what holds it instead of the plastic one they used to use in Cameroon it's this so basically you do this you place it like this and you wear and i'm going to wait on capri now because i'm changing her diaper i'm doing a diaper change this is the one she had before they are washable so you can just wash them dry them i've had this thing for like three years so yes it's economic it's economical is it practical hmm. i use this when uh in case in the middle of the night i realize i'm out of the disposable diapers i will pick this however i'm ordering diapers today <laughs> these things are not I don't enjoy the washing process okay so yeah I just thought I should show you guys like um, cloth diapers are a thing I actually know many I, I don't know like in person but I know that there are moms out there that use these they don't use the disposable ones like to help the planet right This is what it looks like. Nice, right? <laughs> it's very bulky. <laughs> but other than that, this is it. Done. I will just go ahead and dress her up. And if I were to, if we were to go out, you wouldn't know that she's not wearing like the disposable um, diapers, right? On today's opinionated topic, let me know your opinions in the comment section. But I saw this and I was like, I'll share it with you guys. Let me just quickly read it. I saw a quote that read. One of the greatest ways to love your children is to love your spouse. I believe there's a lot of truth in this. In loving your spouse, you set an example. There's love present in the household. The love is fostered. In turn, the love is shared. Terrible husbands, wives rarely make amazing parents. Generally, the best parents are also great spouses because the tools and values you need to be a wonderful spouse are also very relevant in parenting, aka patience, compassion, understanding, communication, etc. Do you guys agree? Yes, I totally agree. I definitely agree. Like <laughs> when you have an argument with Bay, let me talk for myself, right? if there's some miscommunication going on there's tension in the household my kids feel it when i tell you guys my kids feel it maybe the two younger ones may not but the eldest she's only three she feels it and you know she's just i don't know but you, she at, at that point she starts craving more attention and because she's craving more attention and because i'm pissed off at her dad i may not be giving her that or i may be snapping very easily you see that i'm just spreading that i'm spreading the negativity around the entire household right i'm not saying that i, I never get mad at her dad <laughs> he tells me like I, I just get mad at him for no reason do you guys get mad at yourselves for no reason like he's like what have i done i'm like i'll think about it and i'll tell you but yeah don't mind me it's just my shakara that I'm doing but yeah I definitely agree with this and that's why it's important that in this household we we do our best to talk like mm -mm, I will pull the dad aside and we will talk and sometimes the dad will pull me aside like mm -mm, mm -mm, this is not happening talk to me talk to me mm -mm, I don't want this vibe as a wife as a mom I don't want it let's fix this so yes definitely agree let me know in the comment section I guess maybe the next question is so 
what about people that are not married to the, the, the child's father or the child's dad is a deadbeat dad and then um hmm. will you be a good person to that deadbeat dad and if you're not a good if you're not a good person to that deadbeat dad because you're hurt can you be a good mother oh my god that one is a whole other topic no 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 bye i'm out of here i am making chicken i've just put it in a what's it called non-stick pan there's no oil in there i just want it to cook i'm going to add palm oil we are tired of eating grilled uh, grilled chicken fried chicken so i want to try something else this is the tomatoes over here no oil as well i want the i want the water in the tomatoes to dry off and then i'll go ahead to add the other ingredients this is my preferred style of cooking so yeah, this yam is all the way from Cameroon. Hell no, I'm not the I'm not the strongest person physically. I think I will have to switch with Elizabeth. While Elizabeth is cutting, many of you might be curious if I'm on a diet postpartum. I'm no longer breastfeeding. As a matter of fact, I stopped breastfeeding months back. However, I portion control. So that's the answer. I also drink, I'm very big on tea, so I constantly detox my system. Elizabeth is over there on the yam. This is what the chicken looks like. It's still cooking. tea right so yeah i drink this one from great slim i was doing a skincare session with and with a client and she was telling me that tea really really helped her with weight loss until her husband had to tell her to stop i was like wow anyways this is the chicken i've not added no water in there i've added um palm oil i have gone ahead and added palm oil the onion is uh frying and the chicken after about five ten minutes i'll move that into the tomatoes For example, it's probably like past four and I've not had breakfast. I've had like a tiny slice of pizza from yesterday. It's not intentional, right? If I had something that I wanted to eat for breakfast and lunch, I would have eaten that. However, I'm cooking. I'm making fried yam and a chicken sauce. So I will have that. But I also drink this tea. I bought this. I like it. I don't know, like, you know, there's no drastic weight loss for me i'm not looking for a drastic weight loss no as a matter of fact i just if i lose the belly i'll be very happy i don't want i don't want to i don't want to lose weight i love my curves right however one of my clients saw me talking about this tea on funken dolly on instagram and she bought it and it oh my gosh she said she had tremendous results her husband had to take the tea and hide <laughs> i was like wow okay no i've not gotten to that um extent yet this hair, I don't know what I'm doing with this hair. I'm thinking of cutting my hair, tinting it platinum blonde like I've always done. Another voice is like, no, don't cut. You may want to braid it again. So for now, I don't know. With that being said, I am a snacker. I love my snacks. I really love snacking. And this is one of my favorite things in the world to eat right now. Grilled Turkish olives. 
I absolutely love it. Hmm. You can find them at Carrefour, uh, Lulu. They taste delicious. You guys try it out and let me know. Or if you enjoyed this, especially with like a nice wine. Rosé, real Turkish olives. Mm. Pear made in heaven. I just wanted to share. I'm a foodie, okay? Talia, do you want some grilled olives? This is the final result. That's the chicken sauce I made. That's my fried yam. I have some in my mouth right now. This is the first time for me to taste fried yam actually. So yeah, it tastes good. I like it. What? Okay, go play. Okay, okay, I'll not close the door. Like this. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> we just came back from um we just came back from Viva. Viva is one of the affordable stadiums. I'm recording a video. Viva is one of the uh, affordable supermarkets here in uh, the UAE. <laughs> Let me quickly show you guys what we bought. Um so that's all-purpose flour, semolina. I love cardamom tea. Does anybody have any of you tried out this tea before? <laughs> There's a lot of play in the background. Turkey sausages, yeah, some snacks for the kids, just some tea, biscuits, what's this one, speculums, and then um, shortbread, some chips, these are just chips, and then more sausages, this is chicken, beef, dishwasher coffee emilio is a coffee drinker i'm going to join the coffee drinkers as well lots of crying is happening up here i'm coming to see what's going on what's going on daddy said that you will play with the toy tomorrow so why are you asking for the toy today go and bake i'll give you the toy okay 